Hey, what's up classic movie and TV fans? My name is Rick 9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Three's Company and another show which I'll mention just briefly. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I have over 1,400 videos on classic TV shows and movies, so make sure to browse my channel because I'm sure there's going to be something that you will enjoy. Now, the Three's Company episode that I'm speaking of is from season eight. It's episode two. It's the one with Terry, that is Priscilla Barnes, and not Suzanne Summers. And if you're a Three's Companies fan, I'm sure you'll remember it. It's called She Loves Me, She Loves Me Not. Now in this one, of course, the crazy Larry Dallas visits Jack in the apartment as he's cleaning it and finds a magazine quiz about sleeping with a roommate. He tells Jack that, well, maybe this is one of the girls, Terry or Janet. Now the end of the story would come here if he would just bluntly ask each of them. But no, of course, this is Three's Company and that does not happen. So they, the boys, they decide to find out and Larry suggests that they all go to a mountain cabin to figure it out. Now there's a lot of funny lines between Larry and Jack at the apartment before the girls even get there. It's pretty good dialogue here and there. Then when the girls come to kind of find out what's going on, there's all this suggestive content in regards to maybe it could be Janet, maybe it could be Terry and so forth. And then finally they go to the cabin. There's some shenanigans about who sleeps where. It's pretty funny overall. But the scene that I really want to look at is the outdoor scene at night. Now what's happening here, and I'll show it to you on screen, is that we see a boat. We see a little cabin like right on the edge of a lake, a pond, I would just say lake. And being that I'm a huge fan of classic TV, all of a sudden my brain switched on and I thought about an episode of Family Matters. Now I thought about this a lot before and someone messaged me not too long ago which spurred me, hey, maybe I should make a video on this. Now a lot of my videos I do present facts but sometimes I do talk about theory and even speculation. This video would fall into the latter. The idea that to me, my theory is that this cabin by the lake, this set that's, that was used for this episode in 1983 was later on used about a decade later in 1995 on another TV show. Of course, they dressed it differently. I'm going to go into the details in just a little bit, but on an episode of Family Matters. Now, I'm going to talk about that episode a little bit before I talk about the comparison and the contrasting of the actual cabin and the lake set. Now this episode of Family Matters comes from season seven, it's episode six. It's called She's Back. Now the she is referring to Steve Urkel's cousin, Myrtle Urkel. Now I won't get into all the details of every scene of this episode. If you're a fan of Family Matters, you'll probably agree that it's not the best episode. Yes, it has its funny moments here and there, but season seven wasn't that great. The show was kind of going on a decline. That was still entertaining if you're a hardcore Family Matters fan, but um, it was just different. I'll just tell you that the story focused on Urkel, who essentially, Steve Urkel, who essentially left for Russia for a few weeks and being annoying as he was, the Winslow family was so happy to see him go. But as soon as he left, who pops in? His cousin, Myrtle Urkel, who is probably as annoying or even more annoying than he was. Now she had a big crush on the oldest son, Eddie Winslow. And you could say that she essentially tricks him or entraps him into going to this quote unquote romantic setting. Now you will find a lot of the similar things that were in both episodes. You have that water, that lake scene. You have even the reeds in a very similar position. Now the dock and the front of the actual cabin is a little different. Again, I'll get more into that looking at specific things that we can highlight. But if you look at the overall structure of essentially this cabin, this little wooden structure, it's exactly the same. It hasn't changed much in all this time. And yes, studios, TV studios, movie studios keep a lot of these sets handy because they're used in various productions and they aren't just immediately scrapped if they can just dress it just a little differently to make it seem different for different episodes and movies and so forth. Now I always think looking at movie and TV sets that you need to look at the overall big picture of what's happening. There is a lake here or a large body of water and what they do for a lot of these shows is they use the main structure, the main facade of an actual set 
to be the basis of everything. Things that are easier to change are things like doors, like door handles, little banisters. You can easily move those in a couple days, even a couple minutes. It just depends what you're talking about. What usually stays the same is the backbone, the structure of what they're using. So if you see the backbone of this little shack or this little building is, is, is exactly the same. The dimensions, yes, the doors are in different places, but you can just literally pull the front panel off and change where you want the door change where you want different paneling, but the outside structure is harder to make because if you could extend that or make it a little larger, it would be a lot more difficult. For example, take the opening in this Family matter shot of that cabin or that shack. I'll highlight it for you here. You can see that in the Three's Company version of it, which is the older one, that is pretty much covered up, but you see the same shape that little doorway with that little arch kind of like hexagonal on the top, it's covered up by shrubs and trees. Whereas for this scene, they wanted it a lot more open. And so you don't really see that opening. And now that we can see the opening in the Family Matters one, they made it more detailed on the inside. Continuing, if you look at the shot, you can see the dock. It's essentially open. There's a couple tires there on the side and the dock is, extends out into the water that is above the water, almost hovering, floating above there, I'm sure with posts down below. If you move to the Three's Company one, there's more of a banister there, but remember that banister could be removed, but the same structure, the same backbone or outline is present there. Now there's a point in the story where Larry Dallas from the boat and the banister falls into this quote unquote lake. And it's only, it's really shallow. He can pretty much stand up and it's at his knees. But I, what I want you to look at is look at Terry in the boat and essentially she is pushed to the edge of the shrubbery, the greenery. And now if we move to this part, you would say, well, where is that part of the pond, that part of the lake? Well, if you see this shot, you will see how it's removed. You can see here how the shrubbery, the greenery was moved back behind the shed to give areas for the actors to both swim in and get onto the dock. Remember, TV uses the sets for what is applicable to the story. If it doesn't apply, then they remove it or they alter it. But essentially the same body, the same pond that was used is still there. The same shack structure is still there. The same overall dock, they just, change things here and there to make it look different to our eyes. But I wanna know your thoughts down below. Did you ever make this connection? What do you think about this? Do you think it's the same set or did they just build it for this five or six minutes of uh, film? It is quite a coincidence. Now you know that ABC did have a hand in both of these shows, both in Family Matters, TGIF as they called it, and going back to Three's Company. ABC uh, pretty much having a hand in the show. Both networks did pick up on both shows, so they do have that in comparison. Why wouldn't they use the same set and save some money, especially if it's over a decade later? Thank you so much for the support, everyone. I do appreciate it, and most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you to everyone for the support, especially my Diamond Tier patrons. Citizen Kane 359 David D, Greg S, Kevin K, Ricky, Sally N, Ulysses the P, and Vito L. If you want to join the Patreon family, links are in the description. Thank you.